In the news from Jamaica opposition firebrand Everell Warmington insists he didn't do anything wrong when he called Youth and Culture Minister Lisa Hanna a Jezebel. Mr. Warmington blasted his detractors in a scathing statement on Friday. The Jamaica Labour Party, JLP's Everald Warmington, has never shied away from controversy. And again, he's hitting out at his detractors who insist he should be reprimanded for his unparliamentary conduct in Gordon House on Tuesday. The MP for South West St. Catherine called Youth and Culture Minister Lisa Hanna a Jezebel as the House debated an increase in the national minimum wage. On Wednesday, Ms. Hanna took to social media, describing her opposition colleagues' behavior as obnoxious and misogynistic. But Mr. Warmington says he didn't do anything wrong when he labeled the MP for Southeast St. Anne a Jezebel. He shared his side of the story in a statement to the media on Friday. Mr. Warmington says he was insulted and disrespected by Ms. Hanna. He says he only responded to the insults she directed at him from across the floor. Mr. Warmington said, quote, Firstly, I am not crazy. Therefore, I would not have called a member names without cause. There must have been a reason for me to have said what I said, end quote. Mr. Warmington did not share what Ms. Hannah said to him that prompted his Jezebel response, but he said in his statement that Deputy Speaker Lloyd B. Smith ignored Ms. Hannah's rude utterances. According to Mr. Warmington, quote, I did not invent the word Jezebel. It came from the Bible and it aptly describes her behavior. It cannot be that because you may be a woman, you can be disrespectful to me and I ignore it. Whoever you are, I will respond in like fashion, end quote. And Mr. Warmington also blasted the media for what he called their double standards. He argues that there was no outcry when Security Minister Peter Bunting called the entire JLP drunk row. He says the media has been tripping over each other, trying to broadcast a triviality when there are many serious issues affecting the country. The JLP member wrote, quote, Just look at the level of poverty and suffering in this country, the murder rate, the crumbling infrastructure, the sliding dollar, yet the media seeks to detain itself with trivial issues. It is quite clear that a majority of media houses and a majority of the so-called journalists are proxies for the PNP and will stop at nothing in an effort to prop up a failing government and a disintegrating party. I can tell you that it will not work. End quote.